Meanwhile, the woman arrested for DUI and hitting and killing a Vacaville police officer on a traffic stop was in court today for the first time. ABC 10's Alicia Machado was there and joins us live in Fairfield. And Alicia, investigators are now saying this was done on purpose? Yeah, Chris and Laura, the Solano County District Attorney's Office filed a felony complaint alleging that the suspect, Serena C.J. Rodriguez, committed murder, further adding that Officer Matthew Bowen was intentionally killed during this crash. Uh, intentionally killed while engaging in his duties as a peace officer. Now the district attorney's office would not elaborate further on exactly why they believe this was intentional, but take a listen to what they did have to say. This is a very, very tough day for Solano County. Dozens of Vacaville police officers gathered at Solano County Superior Court following the death of one of their own, Officer Matthew Bowen. The suspect accused of hitting and killing Officer Bowen during a traffic stop on Leisure Town Road in Vacaville last week appeared in court for arraignment Monday afternoon. The court appearance lasted just three minutes and few words were exchanged between the judge and defendant, 24-year-old Serena C.J. Rodriguez. Rodriguez was given a public defender. The Solano County District Attorney's Office filed a felony complaint alleging that Rodriguez murdered Officer Bowen. The felony complaint further alleges a special circumstance stating that Matthew Bowen, an officer at the Vacaville Police Department, was intentionally killed while he was engaged in the performance of his duties. In court, the public defender asked the judge whether the death penalty would be sought in this case. The prosecutor would not specify at this time. The courtroom was filled with Vacaville police officers, among them Officer Bowen's parents. Police officers hugging each other as they left Solano County Superior Court. On behalf of the Solano County DA's office, I want to extend our condolences to Officer Matthew Bowen's wife, his two young children, his parents, his law enforcement family at the Vacaville Police Department, and to all of our partners in law enforcement. At the time of the crash, Rodriguez was on probation in Placer County. According to the district attorney's office there, she failed to show up for a court hearing in March, and a bench warrant was issued for her to appear. Rodriguez is set to appear back in Solano County Superior Court for further arraignment next Monday. She will be held in custody without bail. And Chris and Laura, we are learning new details about that crash tonight. The CHP tells me a total of five vehicles were involved in the crash. That includes the suspect's vehicle as well as Officer Bowen's motorcycle. We're also learning that one person sustained minor injuries and they were taken to the hospital that day the crash happened. Uh, it's a case that we will continue to follow. Reporting live in Fairfield, Alicia Machado, ABC 10. And of course, our thoughts are with that officer's family and the entire community. Stay with us for updates on air and online at abc10.com.